Hi, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between Tailwind CSS and Windy CSS. These are two top uh, utility for CSS framework and in this video, I'm going to compare them, which one is better, which one is not. So by the end of the video, we'll, you will have a complete understanding of the difference between these two and which one you can choose in your next project. So uh, here I have my editor, but I'm not going to code anything. So in the browser, I'm going to show you like every differences so you will understand how these two frameworks are going to work together. Now let's start with the story of Tailwind CSS. Tailwind CSS is a utility first framework. If you know about this one, like it is easy for you to understand. But if you don't know, it is the idea of Tailwind CSS was basically to write all the CSS property as a class that way you don't have to touch your CSS anymore and you are always focusing on writing your HTML and also the classes in the HTML and that's called utility for CSS framework and for every CSS uh, property we have more than sometimes 20 classes in Tailwind CSS and that's why you can use all of those classes in your project and everything is working just fine that is the story of it now there was a, something like uh, like a lot of people came up with and said this is not a good idea this is not going to be successful but believe it or not um, i'm just giving you a number in 2018 they have uh, or 2019 it was i read somewhere on twitter they made over two million from tailwind css project not only tailwind css they have a book the that they have sold and both of them made like more than two million dollars and that was a very successful project that's why tailwind css is now uh, one of the popular css framework and a lot of big companies are using it so it is really good to learn this and now there is another competitor to it it is called windy css now windy css is the same as tailwind css but it is something new so you will learn in this video how they are different so let's go back to tailwind css and i'm going to tell you what was wrong with tailwind css that windy css could fix it as i said for every css property you have more than 10 or 15 uh, uh, css classes and each of those classes are doing something for example if you have padding top you have padding top one which is going to give you like 0 0.5 rem from the top until you have padding like 10 to 20 and you see like 20 class you have to add for it and that was making your CSS file very large more than 2 megabytes in de development and sometimes more than that and a lot of people complain about that one because if your CSS file is too much development will be hard because in the browser it crashes I don't know if you have built anything with CSS, Tailwind CSS or not but it happened like the CSS the browser will become laggy and it is hard to develop and navigate around. So that was the problem with Tailwind CSS and Windy CSS came with a solution to that one. Now uh, Tailwind CSS could fix that in production and the issue was only on development back then. And in production they used something called Purge, P-U-R-G and that was basically scanning all your HTML file and finding all the classes you have used based on the classes it would create another CSS file that way you don't have to use all the CSS uh, that Tailwind provide you you will use only the one you have used in your project that was good in production but in development it was a nightmare and it was very difficult so when the CSS fixed that issue they came and said uh, why not we do it in development like every time you write a CSS uh, class we generate uh, CSS based on the class you have written so it is using the same technique and it fixed the problem once they came with a solution Tailwind guys the developers they reached out to the Windy CSS and said hey how did you do this one and they just explained it. this is how Windy CSS is going to work and they implemented the same thing in Tailwind now Tailwind uh, version 2.2 or above is coming with this engine it was it was called just uh, in time which was running just in time or JIT and that fixed the problem so now in development they are going to scan your HTML file every changes that come and it's going to generate your CSS uh, based on that and it is super fast now 
but it's still there was a problem with that so if you are in the browser and you right click and inspect element let's say you want to add a, a, a tailwind class in here or padding let's say top of like three and if that class does not exist in your CSS file it wouldn't work in here so when it was not working in here that was another problem because a lot of developers use these div tools now this one exists here of course if it doesn't exist how would you do that one now that was the, uh, the thing that Tailwind CSS is still I think they didn't fix it but when they did them in Windy CSS they have a div tool which you can attach in your file and it is going to scan your HTML in here in development mode also it is going to see if any changes they use the um, the observer on your browser and if you, every time you bring any changes it is going to watch for the changes and it is going to create the CSS in the header here which is fine like it is a nice uh, utility like they have so if you go to the getting start installation and they have different build if I select white for now I'm going to explain more about this one I'm going to show you what exactly they did this is the design and div tool so you can import the visual windy like div tool and this is exactly doing what you want so if you are in development mode it's still your classes will be generated now these things will come in Tailwind CSS also maybe because it is really something that every developer wants. At the time of this recording, it is not. So now I'm comparing two like very differently. Now here is like a recap of how you can decide which one is good, which one is not. Uh, Windy CSS is new and it is not a replacement for Tailwind because Tailwind come with the Tailwind UI also. If you come to Tailwind UI, you can purchase this for 300 and they have a nice built-in as like libraries like this so we have purchased this you can see the code for this one this is the html version you can see the react and view version also which you can copy now all of this code that you see in tailwind ui is going to work just fine with windy css too because the inspiration behind windy css was definitely tailwind and also i'm not saying like windy is not good the only difference is, is like as i said the div tool how fast it is and also the engine they use so if i am going to explain like what are the differences tailwind is built with post css and windy css is on uh, typescript that's why that is the main differences and also it is much faster compared to like tailwind at the time of this recording but i'm sure tailwind is going to inherit those features soon in the future releases but for now, I think uh, VND is much faster and because of how they have configured everything in here. Now, that is the only difference. Now, if you want to build your website, it is really easy to pick uh, Windy CSS or Tailwind CSS and still use the Tailwind UI. If you purchase Tailwind UI and use this code, all of this code will work for both of them. If you want to like have like pre-built design, something like this, you can use this design in your projects and you can use Tailwind CSS or Windy CSS both of them are working just fine it is just the configuration and the engine behind it now when it comes to future um, support I'm sure like both of these guys are doing the support for both of their projects but at the time of this recording Wind, like Tailwind CSS is like a giant framework and a lot of developers they have a lot of contributors and there is a lot of support for this one compared to Windy CSS, which is new to the market, but it is really good. When there is more competition, a lot of things will change and in this community also. And you can go and learn more about this one in the documentation. Uh, one more thing which I really like about Tailwind, uh, Windy, uh, that I like is the shortcut. So if you come to the shortcuts here, you can define shortcut. Some people hate writing a lot of these codes. So in Windy CSS, you can create shortcut in your configuration. For example, you have a shortcut, which is an object. It creates like a button, and this is the design for the button. And when it comes to your uh, HTML file, you don't have to write all these classes. You can just write it as a button. Now, the same functionality is in Tailwind also. If you come to the Tailwind documentation, let's go to installation. It is a slightly different. They have also support for uh, Vue.js VIT. I don't know how to pronounce white, wit, 
or whatever. But if you scroll down, they have uh, they say that you have to have like post CSS. But if you install Windy, it's required you to have ty TypeScript. Scrolling down to the bottom, they have a feature uh, which I will show you, which works similar to what you said. They use a component and use this apply uh, filter here. So you can use this uh, apply and then apply all of this CSS uh, in your button, which works similar to shortcut. But I find shortcut more like easy. You can write it in JavaScript. Still, it is up to you preferences which one you pick. Both of them are working just fine. So yeah, that's it for this video. In the past few days, I have been working like closely with Windy because with Telvin I was already familiar and worked some uh, some projects. But I deep down work with uh, Windy and find out how it is working, so I can make a video like this. Everyone would understand how things will work. And I hope this video has been informative. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.